<sighs> Hi everyone, Clay's here with Dungeons and Javas, helping you stay up to level up. This week's Friday Night Magic at Home event is a historic brawl, so I'm very happy that they brought something like this back because, quite honestly, the last few, the Momir and the Omniscience, were just absolutely miserable to play in. It was just completely random luck of the draw and very little skill there whatsoever. So uh, I hated those, and I'm glad that they have something like Historic Brawl here. As it says here, it's, it's not quite Commander, but I'm hoping that uh, these events do get us closer to having Commander on Arena because I think that would be great. For this event, I decided to go ahead and try and make a new Brawl deck. Um, my Ashiok Brawl Flash Counter deck works fantastic, um, but I wanted to look at some of the new cards from from uh, Kaldheim and see if I might be able to build around it. So I just put this together about five minutes ago, but I built it around Sorolf. So I'm hoping that with him, I can keep the board relatively empty and just buff him up and then swing in for the win with commander damage. So um, that would be pretty cool. I uh, have a lot of removal in here and some mana acceleration into some bigger creatures that fight when they come into the battlefield. Um, I realize that a lot of people don't necessarily like this view, so I'll switch it to that one. But uh, yeah, ultimately, uh, this is kind of where the, the deck is. Um, just some black-green payoff with some acceleration and some destruction. Nothing too special. I have no idea how it's going to work, but uh, I figured I'd give it a try before I just uh, went back to old Reliable and, and Ashiok. So we'll submit this and see where it takes us. As a reminder, you can post your Friday Night Magic events on our Discord channel. And when you do, you get some, uh, I'll send you a code for some uh, free goodies. Those be usually uh, alternate art for your cards, or sometimes they're uh, card sleeves or some packs. Uh, I may get stomped here, just trying to play a deck out of the gate that's not very good. Uh, but it'll be interesting. Um, I did try and choose some early come into uh, play or enters the battlefield effects so that it would, um, if they get removed with Sorolf, they've I've already gotten value out of them. So he's got Yasharn, which is a dang good guy. I'm hoping to be able to remove him pretty easy. Uh, I think I'm going to take a free mulligan here just because I don't like the fact that I don't have any green mana sources. So uh, this one seems to be a little bit better. So we'll go with that. All right, nothing to do first turn, so just drop a land and pass turn. I do kind of curve out nicely at four here. If I can keep drawing some mana, that would be great. And that wasn't too bad of a start. Hopefully we can draw one more mana here and then just get going. Apparently it's a tough choice for him. All right, we'll go with Gem Razor. Must not have had any superfluous lands to just throw away to it. All right, he can replace this discarded card with Visionary. I'm also running that in here, and we are stuck, which sucks. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to put Snow Lands in here. Oh my God, that's hilarious. <laughs> All right, well, that's both hilarious and idiotic at the same time. Oh, wow. I was like, okay, I can just, you know, have them fight, which, I mean, I realize you can still do. You just, your guy doesn't get plus one and indestructible, but that's really funny. I think I only put that and maybe one other snow card in here, so. If nothing else, we can get him to brawl with the Skyclave, I suppose. Definitely want to be taking that out. He is definitely mana excelling into this big guy here. Yep. That is really good. And we are stuck on two mana. So we are pretty well screwed here. But that's okay. And we'll just set him back for a blocker. See if we can recover here. But I don't think it's very likely he's going to ramp into some bigger stuff. I 
Vivian. Alright, tell you what, we are just going to give this guy a good game. And we're going to go fix our deck a little bit and get back in here. So, Snowland's a good thing. Alright. That might be the only snow card I put in here, actually. Oh. Alright, 10 snow swamps. Where are you at? There you are. And we can add the faceless haven in there, I guess that makes sense. And 12 forests. Whoops. Oh, how's our curve? Are we heavier on green than black? That's eh, about even. Okay. So that's 22, 23, 24. And maybe we'll get a. Uh, what's the black land that allows us to uh, draw cards? I didn't pay too much attention to my mana base here, which obviously I should have. There you are, Castle Lockthwain. Okay, well, let's uh, try this again here and see if the next game isn't uh, at least worthy of a video. If not, we can scrap this whole plan and go over to Ashiok. Mono white? That's interesting. Oh, I was thinking, oh, that's Bruvac. I was thinking it was the guy from M21 uh, that whenever you're attacked, you draw a card if it's by two or more creatures. So I'm going to be milled. Probably should have paid a little bit closer attention to my mana curve here. But. We do have three lands in our opening hand, so all we gotta do is draw one and we'll curve into some of this stuff. So, knowing that we need lands, we'll throw that into play tapped. Greetings, my friend. Alright, well, nothing to do turn two. Pass it over your way. One turn two, brew back. Hope it draws some removal. Oh, he just went with the petitioners. All right. Oh, well, that's going to get awful quick. At least when he mills me the first time, I'll have a target for the Omen of the Dead, probably. And we'll cast my commander. Need one land here. He didn't drop Bruvac. That was very interesting. Well, guess we'll see if he's got a counter spell, which I'm guessing he does. What is he waiting on? This is weird. He didn't even have me mill a card right there. This guy wasn't sick. Uh, we will not be removing all of that. Although we could have got rid of his Mox Amber. Maybe I should have. That would have been funny. Alright, well, let's go with Nyssa here. Let's go ahead and make one of our lands. A big fella. Take action. Release the hounds! The 
this has been really a good exercise of this deck. Oh, there he is. Okay, so I'll mill two from that now. Yeah, well, I guess maybe he was banking on going up against more of a control type deck that gave him some time. So, it's a win, but it's not necessarily very satisfying. We didn't really get to see if the commander would be able to shine, so let's give it one more shot here. If we can get our wins, well, it won't be the most exciting, but maybe I'll throw in a couple of Ashiok Brawls, because I really do like that flash control style. Well, no green, but a lot of really good cards here, so I'm going to keep this. So I choose Treacherous Blessing because if I can get this up to three counters, then I can just get rid of that and not have to worry about the downsides of it. So looks like we're going to have some sort of aggro. So again, I, I did choose cards like this where I could get some use out of them before they got removed. Yeah, he's going full on, beat you in the face. So at least we'll have a blocker for the uh, Hellhound, assuming he doesn't drop the uh, land where he sacks it and goes gets another land. Looks like I'm taking three. Maybe with this, popping one of his guys with the Murderous Rider, or not. All right, well, should be able to withstand this early aggro now. Do have my Murderous Rider mana, so we'll wait, see what he's got. Not sure which one of those guys I'm more scared of. Probably the guy I can't block very well. Definitely got his early aggro going. Might as well get some lifelink out there. That's a really good commander for a landfall type of deck. I maybe should have considered putting some board wipes in here. Like that uh, one from Kaldheim, where if you pay it with snow permanence. That's pretty smart of him. Yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and block here. See if we can buy myself some time to stay alive. Not if we keep drawing swamps is all. Alright, well, which one of these assholes do we want to kill? Converted mana cost two or less. Guess that's got to be the Hellhound. If he landfalls here, well, he can just give his guy plus six here. That's going to be awful. That should be game if he can activate Radha and drop a land for that guy. Maybe you had to draw into it with that card right there. That's going to hurt. I'm on the edge of being wiped out here. Maybe agreeing to play the Gargaloth? Nope. That's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we will give you a congratulatory good game. All right, don't want to give up on this deck that easy. Let's go one more time here through the breach. Guess that's what I get for keeping in all black mana starting hand.
All right, who do you got here? Ashaya. All right, we'll keep that. Mono green here, so I might have some fight for some removal. All right. Hopefully he can't drop a creature power four or greater on turn three, which you can if you do, what is it, Yaron or whatever his name is. It's the three green mana, four, four. All right, well, a couple of different options here. Why don't we start with uh, drawing a card? Hmm. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and pop this guy. Unless he gives it protection or something. Try and buy myself some time. Maybe I should have played him. That's what I should have done. Played my commander. Pop that guy. Oh, damn. I thought that was a treasure token for some reason. Converter mana cost. Power. Alright, well, no lands. So. Bring him out. Guess I could have done that there, but it has protection from multicolored. All right, that's multicolored, so it wouldn't do damage. That's not good enough. Absolutely move that to my command zone. Yeah, so the converted mana cost on this is it zero? I think it is. So if I would have put the counter on that guy first and destroyed him, that would have been the better way to go. All right, here. What do we got? How do we recover from this? So we have two mana left to cast Heroic Intervention to... Oh no, I wouldn't kill that guy because he's got protection. So I guess... Let's take four more. And do that. Getting kind of mana screwed here. I mean, I realize both these are mana rocks, but... Okay, so next turn he's probably going to drop his commander. Can't block you. Okie doke. Where do we go from here? Seems good. Although, that would kill my guy. How big is that? 4-4. Four, four. He'd be a 5-5, five five, pres presumably. To kill the stone coil or not. Or recast my commander. Alright, let's see where this leads us. Nice. Appreciate that. I wish I remembered if the converted mana cost on this was zero or four. I think it's zero. There we go. Boy, he does not like my commander. But at least we got a good target now for my binding. And shall we drop out a Fertilid? He 
does have the mana to play his commander, right? Not anymore, he doesn't. No blocks. Now I think that guy's been around too long. We need to kill him. Well, thanks for the 5-5. Five five. Well, now we'll be able to find out. That's what I thought. All right, here. Let's make him uh, discard two cards. And shall we send in the team here? Let's see, what can we do for four mana? Could drop that. Yeah, let's send in the team. And we'll save back our heroic intervention for any sort of board wipe. Yeah, that's fine. A 6-6, six, six, huh? It's a Gargaloth. That's beautiful. Because then we can Blizzard Brawl. So... I guess we could have done it either way. Maybe should have gave that guy the plus one to swing in for one more power this turn. That would have been a smarter way to go. That's all right. If we lose by one, we'll know that's where I made the mistake. Guess who's back? Back again. All right, well. We send the team, he'll block the 6-6, six, six, and he'll take lethal there, right? So, we will draw a card. Well, I guess this commander really didn't work out as well as I'd hoped. I mean, he did waste all his removal on that, which I guess is something. Um, debating whether I want to play another one here with the Ashiok, just to fill the power underneath my mouse button. Let's go. One time. Really like this deck. I've said it before, flash control is my favorite archetype. Let's see how Ashiok does here. He's got the fairy. That's really, really good. So we've got a turn three counter spell. Yeah, I think we got to keep those just for try and keep the fairy off the board. Get midnight clock going early. Refill my hand. Get him for some damage. Beat him down. All right, what you got there, Kid Rock? So he could potentially play his commander next turn, so we better save this mana back. Expected. All right. Keep having my guy do work here. Let's see. If I drop that, I'd leave me two mana. That would not be enough. I guess I can draw a card now if he doesn't play anything. He 
might have saved up enough for a counterspell my counterspell. Three, four, five, six. Nope. I need one more. Colorless spells. Yeah, I think we need to go ahead and not let him play that. Uh, I was hoping we draw a land there. Okay, so... I guess we just gotta sit back here. That's what our flash control deck does. If we can keep the fairy off the board once, I think we'll be all right. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cancel it. Oh, he put him in his graveyard. Oh, okay. Just didn't trigger that. So, that's a rogue. No, it's not a rogue. Bummer. That's a rogue. So, what should we do here? Can I target artifact or creature spell? So, we'll have... Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. So, we will have enough... Um, you could put my commander on top of my library. Can't mutate. Give me a second, buddy. I'm thinking. All right, I'm going to get Ashy out going here. <laughs> See if my Planeswalker Kung Fu can outdo his Planeswalker Kung Fu. My Ashiok style defeats your Teferi style. He paid two life to put that in. Is that a miscalculation on his part? Or maybe he needs the two mana, that, or the mana he's going to untap. Oh, interesting. Um, library or command zone. Third from the top. Draw in two turns. Let's go to command zone. That's fine. Okay, well, I suppose we will send the sailor. Let's get the clock going. Destroy all non-giant creatures. I don't think I really care too much about that. Do your thing. Good. Let's see. Any reason to bounce that? No, I think we just get more uh, more aggro going here. Plus, if we want to now, we could take some from his graveyard. Do we want Ugin? Could destroy permanents one or more colors. <sighs> All right. Well. I don't think so. Let's see what's what here. Could drop the ferry again. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, hella fucking Luya. Hopefully, doesn't have a counter spell for my counter spell. Ok, 
guessing he does. Yep, nice. Well, that's going to be a bitch to get rid of. Alright, not targets. Let's see here. Well, I wonder if we attack that targets. Not much I can do here. I guess we can make him discard his last card. No, we can't even do that, so we don't have a second black. No attack. No reason to cast Thassa. Can't tap him. Guess I'll set that up for next turn, though. sense and bouncing it. How many cards do you have in this graveyard? Yeah, Dream Trawler's really gonna suck here. to block here, I don't think. It's a nice little swing of life there. Ten point life swing. Well, we'll try and counter that. See if he's got another counter spell. All right, so we can get a 7-7 seven, seven that'd be on the ground, at least put some pressure on him. So I think we go ahead and attack. We will... What do we want here? The giant or Ugin? I think we'll go Ugin. I mean, to the giant. Take action. And we can at least, on his upkeep, um, sure. An extra blocker on the ground never hurt anybody. at least keep his dream trawler tapped here. Guess I didn't need, need to put the stop in. I'd wanted to do that on his upkeep just in case he would draw a card that could somehow prevent that. There we go. Worth it. Got six. I'm not so concerned about him flipping that, I guess. That's nice. Nice one. Well played, sir. Here's a slither wisp. That's nice. Let's see. 
So we can flash that in. Oh, and I'm too black. Damn it. I do have enough to play Ashiok again, though. I have mixed feelings about playing against uh, this deck, because I really like Azorius. That was cool, I've never seen that animation before, when it actually flipped. There he is. Three, four. Well, I'm not hurting for mana. So I think we try and make him discard and uh, take away some of his card advantage here. And you can kill it when he flies over anyway. Glad he got rid of that. Imagine him using his Planeswalker ability twice on that. I'd be sick. Let's see. I have one, two, three. So, might as well attack. And hold off my flash stuff. Uh, submit zero. Is he going to try and take out Ashiok right now? Probably. Well, let's see here. We could put a counter on Midnight Clock and then shuffle our hand and try and draw a counter spell. I think we'll do that. And suddenly I have no audio. There we go. All right, and we did draw a counter spell. Let's just non creature. Alright, don't have four mana to tap that down anymore. Alright, I could actually save Ashiok here by flashing in the Spectral Sailor. Which I think I'll do. Now, hopefully, we can just keep that tap down every time with Thassa. All right, well. Creeping, thieving. All right, let's do this and turn. Ah, uh, sure. Why not?
Resolving that midnight clock and getting those two counter spells was huge. Pretty good idea. Well, we'll definitely have to uh, say no to that. All right, well, let's go ahead and drop an omen of the sea. See if we can't get something delicious here. Sure, we'll go with him. to my hand, draw the card. What do we want to do? Well, we'll tap him down. So maybe. So let's see, I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, or five, eight. Eight mana. So I wouldn't be able to return it and then flash it in and tap his guy. But I think we do need the card draw, so we're going to do that. Let's go ahead and bounce him. At least make him discard a card over there. Resolve all. And we're done. And let's tap him. I imagine he's going to get sick of that. Play Teferi here and put my Thassa into my library. That's what I would do if I was him. Of course, that doesn't help him because then he would just die to aggro. Searching for answers. I think I just called that Teferi. It's Thassa, obviously. Dovin's Veto. What does he have? Nothing. All right. Ashiok Flash Control. <laughs> Always a fun time. Well, hope you enjoyed this uh, little trip down uh, historic brawl lane here and uh, enjoyed the video. If you did, like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, join our Discord server, and as always, post your uh, Friday night uh, Magic at Home events there on our Discord, and I will send you free goodies. This is Clay with Dungeons & Javas, helping you stay up to level up. We'll see you next time.